Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangus, and I welcome you guys to part 12 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. We're about to head into chapter 8. In the last part, Ike's father died. Rip in peace, father. Aw, now we get sad flashback. What's wrong, Ike? Done already? Come on, son, you'll never beat me with that attitude. Ah, <laughs> think you're as stubborn as your mule-headed father? Oh. Ike, grow up big and strong. I believe you got the markings of a great warrior. Oh. Father, this isn't the dream, is it? This is all real. Mist, the sun's going down and it's getting cold. Come on, let's go. Mist? Oh, Ike! Mist. Why? I was at his side, but I couldn't save him. I'm sorry. It's so unreal. Dad's gone. He's gone, Ike. And I don't... I don't know what to do. Don't worry, I'm here. Brother. I'll lead the company. In father's stead. And I'll protect you all. You, the princess, everyone. I'll protect you, you'll see. No. Brother, I can no. Missed? I won't allow it. I can't lose you, don't you see? If you go, then I'll be all alone. I won't allow it. I'm not going anyway. I promise you, Mist. Sadness and Sorrow. Chapter 8. Despair and Hope. Commander? Grail? Why is this happening? Why is any of this happening? Why now? First Crimea, and now you. Ike. Oh, Ike. Where's Mist? She's resting in her room. Riss and Wolf are with her. Wolf, actually. Rolf. That's good. She needs to sleep. She's been through so much. We all have. You should rest too, Ike. I'll be alright. Grief won't bring my father back to life. I know I've been a burden on the both of you. Titania, Soren. I just need to thank you both for staying here with me. Not at all. There's no need. Don't trouble yourself. So, where is everyone? I... To tell the truth... Yes. Boyd and I are back. How did it go? Can't believe it. They just left. And they didn't take one look back. Heartless scum. I'll never forgive them. Boyd? What's going on? Ike, are you alright? I'm fine. Tell me what's happened. Start talking. Well, uh, what I meant to say is, uh... Shannon and Gatry have left us. Soren? What? There's nothing to hide, is there? They left? Both of them? Why did they... Oh, I see. They left because of me, didn't they? Ike, Titania told us you were going to be the new commander. Shinon just about exploded. He and Gatry left not long ago. What? Fucking douchebags. Come on, the guy just lost his father. Well, I suppose it is to be expected from Shinon. I kind of like Shinon. He's a lovable douchebag. He kind of like... He reminds me a lot of Waylon. I suppose that's why I give him the Waylon voice. But Gatry... I thought Gatry was more the loyal type. I gotta me, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised by that, but... Okay. We went after them. We tried to talk things out, but it was a waste of time. We all knew it was... We, we all knew Ike was going to inherit the company... The command of the company, didn't we? It just happened sooner than we wanted. It was Grail's decision. If some of us aren't satisfied with that, there's no reason we should stop them from leaving. As far as losing strength... As lo far as losing fighting strength is concerned, we can solve that by adding new members. How can you say that? After all the battles we've been through together? How can you say that? Forgive me, Ike. I wasn't able to stop any of this. It's not your fault, Titania. They did what they felt they had to do. They didn't want to lose their lives to an inexperienced commander. Ike, don't talk about yourself like that. I'm not saying that to gain anyone's pity. It's the truth. But even so, I have no intention of giving up command of this company. Ike, then what will you... I'm going to follow my father's wishes. I'm going to assume command. If everyone will accept me, that's what I'd like to do. Of course. 
I'd already made up my mind. That's what I was going to do all along. <laughs> so now you want me to start calling you boss, is that it? Well, I can do that. Boss it is. I'm in too. Riss? Mists asleep. I know I missed most of the conversation, but I have a good idea what you've been discussing. Commander Ike. Yes, it does have a nice ring to it. What about you, Soren? Ike? I'm not sure what help I could be to you. Finally, Soren, you're being self-honest. You suck, and you're gonna be benched. What place is there for me in a mercenary company anyway? I don't know. You know, if you, if you only have the ability to double and do damage. You are so weird. I've always depended on you, haven't I? I need your tactical knowledge. I need your objectivity. You're not going to leave me, are you, Soren? Don't worry. I'll be here watching over you. Great! We need some bench warmers. Can't have that bench stay cold. Thank you. I know I'm not as experienced as most of you. I'm going to make some mistakes, but I'll try not to let you down. Well, you're going to have a lot to learn about being commander. I'm glad you're serious, because it's a lot of work. Tell me everything. First, you'll need to understand company expenditures. Then we'll talk about ensuring that everyone is properly outfitted. And we can't forget the need to gather good intelligence. Oh, and you'll want to know everyone's abilities and relationships. Uh-uh. Earlier, I spoke with a merchant caravan that's taken refugee here in the castle. They fled Crimea at the same time we did. I told them who we are, and they asked if they could travel with us. I think they're worried about protection. I think they're worried about protection from Dane. In exchange, they offered us a good rate of items and weapons. They'll also buy items and forge weapons for us. Uh-huh. They also said we could use their wagons to store our goods. That's one more worry of our minds. Uh-huh. So anyway... Titania! Yes? I know I said tell me everything, but... This is too much, I can't give up! Maybe I should learn everything in one si Maybe I shouldn't learn everything in one sitting. Can you show me the ropes along the way? Is that alright? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. I'll take over for now. Why don't you get some rest? I'm alright. You worry too much. Get some rest. That's an order! I'll do my best to manage. Yes, Commander. Naha, <laughs> bossing Titania around. Ooh, what's this? Huh. Outfit. Ooh, it's sort of like a... Ah, I like this. Oh, finally I get a convoy. Alright, so I can uh, hand some stuff around. I guess I can... Uh, give convoy. Give... Okay, I get it. It's, it's sort of like a barracks. Kind of like from Awakening, just better. I never quite liked the barracks in Awakening. Never, never really saw the, the purpose behind it. Um, trade. Let's give the Iron Sword. And equip, equip, give all lists. Okay. How about Mia? How's she doing? She's doing fine. Okay, everyone has what they need. Well, I guess I could give a Steel Axe to Boyd now that we have a convoy. And Titania could also... Uh, get a Iron Axe. Okay, we only have one Iron Axe. Okay, never mind. She can get the Steel Axe then. Manage. Award experience? Uh, okay. We can award experience. Okay. So I can... I get... Oh, right, I heard about this. You can apparently give extra experience to your guys. Okay, well, I... I think I want to level up Riss. This is kind of cool. Hit points, speed, and luck. Well, that's good. Speed and luck is def definitely what I wanted this guy to get. Ah, okay, I get it. Okay, so who else? Okay, Boy definitely doesn't need, but I think I want Oscar to get some experience, actually. Is there no way to just instantly add 100? Ah, this is... I really like this. This is a really kick-ass feature. What? Come on, dude! Are you kidding me? Uh, I guess we could give Mia some experience as well. Okay. Okay, cool. You can just press right and then it adds 100. Yeah, sure. We can give Mia some experience. I like Mia. Alright, get some good level ups now. Hit points, magic, skill. Magic? Really? Alright. Uh, let's give her... Let's give her another 100 experience, shall we? I want to get her up a little bit, so then I'm thinking we should probably give... I think I want to give Riss one more level as well. Hit points, strength, magic, speed, luck. That's a better level up. Alright, one more level up for her. Uh, she has currently 45 experience, so we'll give... Oh, okay. I think you can give just enough experience to actually get them to level up, which is pretty cool. Speed and luck. Okay. So now she's a little bit better. Um, uh, Oscar can probably get... 
one more level. I feel like he is lagging a little bit behind. Hit points, skill resistance. And then maybe we should give one to Riss. I think we're, we're gonna give two levels to Riss, to be quite honest, because he he is extremely squishy. I and mean, it's not as easy to level up healers in this game as the other ones. I, I feel like... Jesus Christ. I feel like they ga gain less experience here than in, in the other games. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Skill unlock. Okay. I think Ike is completely fine. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use Soren. There's another mage that I've been told is really good. Titania does definitely not need any experience. We could give another level to me, I suppose. Hit. Okay, skill and luck. Again, I feel like I'm getting really crappy level ups here. Uh, let's give him a, um, another level up for Oscar. This is fun. I like this a lot, but I feel like I'm also breaking the game. Skill and resistance. Again, but then again, I get horrible level ups, so I guess it's okay. Alright, another level up for Oscar. Strength and luck. Okay, I'll give one final level up to Oscar. And then I'll give the last experience to... Hmm, who should I give the last experience to? We'll see. Strength, skill, and luck. Okay, he's starting to get better, but again, he, he's not been leveling up a lot of speed, which I don't like. Um... Alright, I'll give Mia a level up. Strength and speed. Okay, that's awesome. And then, I guess I could save some experience, but where's the fun in that? Okay, can anyone... Will anyone level if I give them more experience? Uh, I guess I'll give Risk 45 experience then. Okay, cool. So now we don't have any more uh, experience. Um, oh, I get it. It reduces any lethal blow to half damage. So we get skills and we can assign them. I'm not sure if it's permanent or not. Okay, so who would I want that? So, um, Miracle. Reduces any lethal blow to 5 damage. Is that, like, permanence? Like, w will it always happen? Uh, I feel like... I feel like Riss definitely... What does, Ser what does Serenity mean? Half the Byrhythm effects. Okay. Uh, I think I'll... I think I'll give him... Yeah. Tempest. Doubles Byrhythm effects. So can you remove skills as well? And assign them to other guys? Oh no! Did I lose the skill? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> okay, that's, that's good to know. The game could have warned me about that, though. Okay, it wasn't a terrible skill to remove anyway, because... Uh, by rhythm essentially means that void will, void stats will go up and down at double the rate. Which actually is kind of nice not to have, because it means he'll sometimes suck. Okay, but now I know that removing a skill actually permanently removes it. I mean, seriously, game, you could have said, warning, the skill will be gone forever, do you want to remove it? If on certain, in, a, in certain conditions grants the units two consecutive at time. Oh, it's basically like continue. Okay, I didn't know we had that. Counter, in certain instances, causes enemy to receive half of the damage shields. I have never seen Titania do that to anyone. Did she just get that skill? Vantage, allows the units to attack first. In oh my god, she has Ambush. That's really good to have on a Swordmaster. And now Riss has Serenity as well as Miracle, which I think is pretty cool. Alright, well, that's... That's that, I suppose. My god, there... This is a really cool thing. I, I love this feature. Why hasn't this been in more Fire Emblem games? I, I know Awakening tried to incorporate it somehow with the barracks, but I feel like it didn't quite do that. Alright, we have supports as well. Currently only with Ike and Oscar. I suppose we could get some supports going. Hey, Oscar, can you spar with me for a sec? Wait, where are you going? Sorry, Ike, no time. I have to prepare the evening meal today. You? Where's Mists? She's off practicing with our staff. <laughs> Hard they are. It's been a while since I cooked. I hope I haven't lost my touch. I haven't had one of your suppers in ages. I'm looking forward to it. Really? Yeah, of course. You're a great cook. Why do you ask? Well, I never knew that. Miss Shinon and Riss were the ones who ever commented on the subtle spices and flavors that I use. I mean, my brothers are used to my cooking, and Soren hates everything. 
<laughs> and Soren hates everything. <laughs> I think he'd stop eating if he could. Sure, Commander Grail, Titania, Gatrin, you ate everything on the plate, but I feel like you'd eat anything. Oscar, I didn't just shovel the food into my mouth. I enjoyed it. I really did. Remember the first day that Miss took over the cooking duties? Just thinking about it makes me ill. <laughs> Even my father was having trouble choking it down. But I think Mist is finally starting to get the hang of it. Just like you're training to improve your swordsmanship, Mist is, Mist is training to improve her culinary skills. You should give her more support. Hearing someone say delicious is the best encouragement a cook can get. I see. Then I'll make sure to say delicious from now on. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Alright, so now they have a support. Information. Ooh, you have conversations as well? Cool. Well, hello there. That's my line. This lady is my type of merchant. I'll buy everything you have, including your clothes. Take them on right... Take them off right now. Oh, my horrible jokes. Amy? So she's kind of like Anna in this game. <laughs> Who's the guy with the beard? Oh my god, look at that fucker. He's a, he's a manly man, holy crap. If he's not a blacksmith, then I don't know. Well, hello. You must be the young commander I've heard so much about. My, and you are a young one, aren't you? And you must be from the merchant caravan Titania told me about. The one that asked to travel with us? Yep, that's us. It must have been fate that brought us all here together. If you'll offer us protection, we'll supply you with the provisions you require. At a reasonable price, of course. What do you say? It's for the greater good of us all, wouldn't you agree? Well, it's a sound proposition. Yes, then we have an agreement. I'm the weapon merchant, Muston. I'll be sure to stock the weapons you prefer. And I'm Amy, a vendor of various goods. I have a wide variety of items for sale. I hope you'll stop by soon. Ah, she should have been named Lullabell. You know, remember from Lullabell's shop in Fire Emblem 1? She looks just like Lullabell. Uh, who the fuck are you guys? The name's George. I buy things. Anything, really. You got any weapons or items you don't need? Bring them to me! My name's Daniel. I'm a craftsman. I specialize in made-to-order items. There's one last item to cover. If you'd like, we can also act as a storage. Warhouse of, warhouse of sorts. Carrying your extra things. What do you think? That would be fantastic. We recently left our stronghold, and I was afraid we'd have to carry our goods ourselves. I'm happy to take you up on your offer. Very good. Well then, may our enterprise be prof profitable for us all. Unknown? I hear someone. Is it coming from over here? Oh. <laughs> Why, Grail? Why you? Why did you have to? <laughs> Aww, Titania's crying. What's going on, Rolf? Oh, Ike! If you're wondering about Miss, she just fell asleep. Really? Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, Rolf. It's all right. I don't mind. It's getting late. You should get yourself to bed. I will, but... Uh... What is it? Mist is just fine. Hmm? You're here, Ike, so she's fine. I mean, she's going to be just fine. Huh? That's all. Well, good night. Rolf. Thank you. Ah, let's talk to Boyd. Hey, working already, Ike? If you need any help, just let me know. Boyd. How do you feel about this? About what? About me being the new commander. Before you hated the idea, right? So I just want to know the truth. Will you really take orders from me? Well, I know what you can do and what you can't. I don't know if I want you to charge if things get re in charge if things get really dangerous. But on the other hand, this is what Commander Grail wanted. He had faith in you, and I got faith in him. The commander hired both Oscar and me. When our dad died, I was the only one who had to care I I was the one who had to care for let's try that again when our dad died I was the one who had to care for baby Rolf I had no clue what I was supposed to do Oscar received the discharge from his military service and came home but life was hard that's when commander Grail found us he gave us a, gave us jobs a place to sleep food on our plates he gave us our lives back Boyd you've all worked off any debt you may have owed him you don't have to any obligation to me this isn't about obligations anymore Commander Grail always say we were part of one big family, didn't he? I'll do anything to protect my family. That's why you can always count on me. I see. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. But don't you ever try to hold us at arm's length, you got that? Don't worry about that. I'm going to work you to the bone. Oh, really? I'll take whatever you can dish out. Try me! And then it's Riss. Riss? Ike, what were you doing? 
I was praying for my father. Yes, you see, the commander, he... he Riss, I'm sorry. I know this must be so harder on, so much harder on you. Forgive me. A long time ago, my father told me a story. It was about being the dead. He said the more tears we shed, the more blessings they receive in the hereafter. I envy you, Riss, for some reason. I can't seem to cry at all. Riss, if you could shed a tear for me too, I'd be grateful. Ike, I would be honored. Thanks, Riss. Thanks for caring so much about my father. I really like these conversations. They're really cool, actually. Alright, um... Can we... Can we shop? Here we go. Okay, we do need to buy. I, I definitely know who's getting a new lance. Okay, let's visit the armory. How much money do we have? 2,500 gold? Oops. Uh, yeah, definitely want an iron lance. Oscar can get that. Uh, I think perhaps giving him two lances would be a good idea. And then we definitely want some... Okay, I, I guess we don't need to buy with different guys here. We want to buy a hand axe. And give that to Titania. And we also want an iron axe, I think, for Titania. I think we have enough swords. We definitely have enough swords. Do we have enough steel axes? Okay, Boyd has a steel axe. Mia has her sword. Soren has, her, has his tomes. Let's go visit the shop. Let's see what they sell there. Hey, heal staffs. We can buy heal staff. For Riss. Do we have enough vulnerabilities? I think we have enough vulnerabilities. So how does the forge work? Yes, I'd like a special... Oh, I get it. We can forge... Oh, that's really cool, actually. Make it based on this weapon? Sure. Ah, that's really cool. Oh my god, that's pretty kick-ass. So you can, you can create your own weapons with, with less mites. With crit on it. Oh my god, that's, that's super cool. I like this forge feature a lot better than the Awakening one. Ha. <laughs> that is really cool. Uh, well, I don't have the money to do that yet. Anyway, guys, I think I spent a whole fucking episode uh, simply on uh, <laughs> simply on uh, fooling around in this menu. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I promise you, in the next part, we're going to jump into the next chapter. Um, yeah, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode. As, as I said, guys, uh, at the start of this Let's Play, I am completely new to, to Path of Radiance, so I've never played this game before. So I have to take my time and explore the features of this game. Uh, I am a complete noob. I've never done this before. It, it, it's actually really cool. I, it, it's a it's a cool feeling to to play a Fire Emblem game for the first time again. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, please consider leaving a like and a comment if you like this part. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.